Okay, everybody, it is me, Gregory Manorino. It is Sunday, March 27, 2022. You know what? I'm in a good mood today, and I hope you are as well. So, people, this is uh, my newest segment of Markets, A Look Ahead. And I really don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. That's really the truth. I do not script a damn thing. I sit here and just, you know, <laughs> whatever happens, happens. Um, all right, so with that said, let us put perspective on what is happening and what we can expect moving forward. It's that simple. Ah, in order to look forward, people, as always, we got to look back just, just a little bit. So what has been happening in this market? I, th I don't think it's a surprise to a single one of you who follow this blog. We've seen some incredible action here in this freak show market and i'm not just talking about the stock market i'm talking about the debt market which is the main driver energy prices crude oil uh the the dixie it's uh, it's really following well exactly like we would have expected it to do so with that said let's look over at the market we've had an incredible run-up since well, the day before the Federal Reserve made their monumental announcement with regard to monetary policy, basically promising the market more easy money for as far as the eyeball can see and then even further than that. There is no end in sight whatsoever to easy money policies and not just from the Federal Reserve. This is a, a global phenomenon, the European Central Bank. You have to, you have to understand, when... When you're looking at the Federal Reserve, you really got to look over at the European Central Bank as well. They are in lockstep for the most part. In fact, for the vast majority of the most part. And when, when one of these central banks acts, you can expect the other one to follow suit. So we found out last week that the European Central Bank would be willing to increase asset purchases if the war... Um, affects the economy over there and the, the Federal Reserve is going to follow suit as well look you don't need to be any kind of a genius a rocket scientist or anything like that to realize that the economy's done okay it's just the market is on life support it's been on life support since you know <laughs> quantitative easing one uh, and then quantitative easing two, operation twist, and everything else they're doing. And they're still buying assets, no secret. You want to find out what the Federal Reserve is doing, really? I always tell you that the truth is hidden in plain sight. What most people may not realize, maybe, maybe you, I'm not sure, is you can go to the Federal Reserve's website. It's all there, okay? Everything they're doing, well, for the most part, is right on their website but you see this is not advertised people have no idea what they're looking at where to go but just go to the federal reserve's website look at their balance sheet um you can find out what assets they're buying well again for the most part um anyway i want you to go go look at that uh the federal reserve's website and you will find some astonishing things there hidden in plain freaking sight so yet again as i was saying We've watched this market really make a substantial rebound off the low, especially from the day before the Fed made their monet monetary policy announcement. Now, with that said, you know my take on all of this. No asset, I don't care what it is, or an asset class, just go straight up without some kind of a pullback or a little corrective phase. That's what we've had so far, okay? I understand, and we've spoken about this many times, uh, we've had a market that has gone virtually straight up for freaking years, and that is because of the Federal Reserve's monetary policy, easy money, um, which has, you know, no end in sight to it. We've had a corrective phase for the past couple of months, but we have certainly come off those lows. Okay, uh, right now, the S&P 500 is about 7% or less off of a new record high, and new record highs are coming. I don't care what anybody else is saying. And I know there's a lot of people out here, some of them have, uh, well, big followings. And I'm not talking about the usual freak show, talking about a crash every week. 
There are some people out here that I really do respect a lot, but I think they're missing the big picture. I don't want to name names here and, um, and, and point people out, but there are some people that are missing the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is easy money is not going to stop, and I can promise you that and you know it. How do I say this another way? Let me think about it for a moment. The financial system today uh, is being weaponized. Obviously, sanctions are a way to uh, weaponize the financial system uh, against nations or uh, individual people like, you know, the, the war on the oligarchs, which our illustrious retard president is doing right now. And, and all, all these sanctions are really doing is making your life harder because the war is not slowing down, okay? The war will be prolonged. And in these sanctions are a way to prolong it. But at the, at the same time, you're paying the price for it. Okay, you are financing this war. The American people are financing the war. Uh, the European people are financing this war. People around the world, because this is all a game. You knew that from the get-go. It's, you know, look, what has happened since this war here is epic. Hundreds of billions of dollars have been thrown at it so far um, and all this is is a mechanism to continue to borrow from the future. Arms deals, a new uh, Cold War, arms race, a weaponry being replaced, old stuff being replaced with new stuff. I mean, you have maybe you have an idea of where this is going, but I think you do. Uh, understanding that war, the propagation of war, um, this generates more cash for the corporations. Than, than any other endeavor on the planet Earth, and then some. Okay, so that's what you can expect, and every crisis must be prolonged. So, what's going on here is very simple. You got central banks, none more so than Fed and the ECB, that are continue to suppress rates from here to eternity. You can count on that. The financial system is being weaponized, not like most people think it is. It's being weaponized against you. But you knew this from a long time ago. How many times have you heard this guy explain to you that if you're a member of the middle class, you have a target on your face. It's tattooed on your face. You may look in the mirror and not see it, but it is there. You can expect, again, this mechanism of pulling cash from the future. Central banks continuing to inflate on a, on, on a biblical scale to punish you via inflation. Again, central banks, none more so than the Fed, have no interest at all in slowing down the pace of inflation. Henceforth, why they're just, you know, flicking. Remember when I flicked my eyeball, which I won't do again? It hurt for like three days, four days maybe. Anyway, I won't flick my eyeballs again, at least not anytime soon. Um, no, the, these little nudges in the federal funds rate, you, you, you know, look, we all knew this was going to happen. It's, it's, it's getting priced into the market. It got priced into the market looking at the 10-year yield. We've seen the 10-year yield make a substantial move higher. This is, again, the market pricing it in, okay? This is not going to benefit you unless you are on the right side of this freak show. And that means, again, you should have been for a while now. If you're one of my lions, I know you have been. Adding to core positions, buying financial stocks, getting yourself on the right side with regard to commodities. I mean, all this is laid out on my website. I have specific ticker symbols for you right on my website, traderschoice.net, Gregory Manorino's top stock picks. Go look at it. It's not for me, people. It's all for you, and it's free. It's all free. Anyway, uh, getting involved here with oil and gas producers, which we haven't seen anything yet. People, like I said, the financial system is being weaponized against you, not against Russia or anybody else, against you. And you're going to see inflation continue to surge, energy prices. I mean, we haven't seen anything yet with regard to surging energy prices here. And that, that mechanism is going to stay in place. And the middle class is going to continue to get exterminated, wiped the freak out. You all know that. You must, you must be taking advantage of things around here, betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank. Smile like I do, like this, look. Uh, when you realize that you've got the Wall Street super bank, JP Morgan, artificially suppressing the price of precious metals, let them play their game. Let them dump all the paper that they want 
onto the market. Okay, good. Keep the price suppressed, precious metals, and you and I are going to stack the hard asset. We all know where this is leading to, people. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, we're gonna, we're not retards, all right. Uh, this is going to end very badly. We're going to get a meltdown in that debt market. You know, it's coming. I mean, it's a time bomb, and I've said this many times for years, and it's ticking louder and louder every single day. The debt market is a freaking time bomb. It is going to go off at one point. When? When the easy money stops. When is that going to happen? Not for a long time. Central banks are not done buying assets. They're not done inflating. They're not done deliberately going out of their way to create inflation. You have to understand, that's the mechanism here. And we got a little bit of truth right out of the mouth of James Bullard, okay, Fed President Bullard, who said the Federal Reserve's policies currently are creating more inflation. Duh! Can I get a double duh, duh, please? I mean, you and I have been way ahead of the curve. Nobody has been more ahead of the curve than you following this blog. I've kept you all in the know to the best of my ability. Am I right all the time? For those of you that might, must hear this, no, I am not right all the time, nor will I ever be right all the time. And you don't have to be. You just got to be right most of the time in this market. And we're going to take advantage of everything. Now, I told you the gloves are off. I don't care anymore. They're trying to destroy you. They are trying to destroy me via weaponizing the financial system against us. But you see, we're too smart for that. We can turn these tables around and weaponize it against the freaks that are literally trying to kill us. They are trying to kill us. I think you would have to agree here. Um, look, people, how do I say this another way? We are sincerely in the middle of a phenomenon that you and I knew was coming from a very long time ago. A new set of rules, a new paradigm, a whole entire new demographic is being created here and an elimination of, entire, of an entire class of people. Extreme haves, extreme have-nots. And, and the middle class is paying for it all, as they always do. And when this is done, we're going to end up with a new feudal system, okay? Uh, the, the overlords up here, the, you know, the one and two percenters and everybody on the bottom um, just serving their freaking masters via the, the financial system. And I'm still waiting for someone to do something about it. Look, you and me, we are doing something about it. You know what we're doing? We're raising people's awareness as to what is going on here. And then we're, we're obviously trying to take advantage of it ourselves. I'm not going to lay down here and be fleeced, and neither are you. I will not allow that to happen on my watch. I've told you that for freaking years. I just want all this to make sense to you. You understand? If I'm covering things here that click with you, I think that's fantastic. If I'm covering things that are not, do your own research into what I am saying. Is it true? Is what Greg's saying true? It's not too hard to do a little research on these things, the topics I talk about, the things I say. Anyway, looking forward a little bit, people, we need to keep our eyes on a few things. With regard to the market, we do need a pullback. We've gone straight up off the low. We are near record highs already, and record highs are coming for this market. If anyone tells you something to the contrary, I'm sorry to say they don't understand what's going on. All right, they just don't get it. They don't realize that the mission here of central banks is to continue to inflate. And by them, by central banks inflating, what does that do? That destroys the currency in absolute terms, loses its absolute purchasing power value. Yes, you and I have watched the dollar index get stronger as, as of late. Sure, it fluctuates around, but the relative strength of the dollar will continue to remain high, despite whatever the Federal Reserve might do, um, money printing, creating cash out of thin air, adding digits to a screen, the relative strength of the dollar will stay high. But its absolute strength, along with the absolute strength of virtually every other central bank issued note is going to dissolve and inflation is going to go higher. Much, much higher. We haven't seen anything yet. I'm telling you. you watch. Watch how this plays out moving forward, people. And again, going back on this blog and you and I, clearly we have been ahead of the curve by leaps and bounds because we know what's going on. We realize 
the bigger picture. And that's what, see, I'm a macro guy. Most of you know that by now. I, I look at the bigger picture globally, and then I start to zone in on the smaller things. But you got to be a macro person to really take in what's happening around you. And I think you've got a handle on that. So we need to watch a few things here. Commodity prices, energy prices, um, the 10-year yield. Obviously, the market is, again, can, pricing in further rate hikes. There's no uncontrolled spike here. Um, and to me, that means the market's going higher. And I mean much higher. Record highs are coming. I think it's possible we may get a little correction first. Um, you know, I'm not talking about anything major here. 5%, 6%, something along those lines. You know how it works. Nothing goes straight up without a little corrective phase. You get a floor and you go higher. And that's the way it's going to go. And I also want you to be mindful that, I don't know, they're going to do things to us people that we need to be ready for. Always have the high ground. Be ready for anything, like I always tell you. Um, you know, some kind of engineered false flag event, uh, a way to expand the war that's already going on and being prolonged. It will expand and it will be prolonged. Count on it. I don't know another way to put this. But you and I, like I said, we got it covered. We know what we're looking at. We know what we're doing. We know how to take advantage of it. It's that simple. It really is. None of this is hard to understand, I, I don't think. If we lay this, you know, we break this down to its core components and, and central banks being the hub of it all, we understand what they're trying to do and they're going to vastly inflate. We realize that. I think that's the key. And, and uh, we got it. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how to put this another way. All right, people, look, I think a lot of important things have been covered in this video blog. If you agree, you know what I'd appreciate? How about a thumbs up? I love those thumbs up. It makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. Uh, and I am working as hard as I can for all of you. Okay, I work for you. That's the truth. I don't work for anybody else. I can't be bought. No, I, I don't care how much or whatever people want to offer me to not put out this kind of information. It'll never happen, okay? Um, just, you can count on that. All right, that's it, people. Love all of you. Please share this video. Get it out there. I'll see you in the morning. And, well, tomorrow's the real freak show. It's going to start every week. Every Monday, when that <laughs> opening bell goes off, well, I don't know. It's it's the beginning to of the freak show. I'll see you then.